In Louisiana, there are now more than 2,300 COVID-19 cases. Numbers are climbing. Nearly half of those cases coming from New Orleans. Cases there spiking by 28% in just one day. That's the fastest increase in the U.S. The governor there urging people to minimize contact, saying, quote, you have it within your power, the opportunity to save lives. And now the Saints quarterback and his wife, Brittany, announcing they are donating $5 million to Louisiana to help fight the coronavirus. Representing Houdat Nation, I spoke with Drew just moments ago at his home. Drew, it is so great to see you there at home. And first of all, I want to ask you, because I know you and Brittany, your college sweetheart, you have four little ones, ages from 5 to 11. So, Drew, how, how's the family doing this morning? Well, the, the family's asleep right now, but uh, the family's the family's doing well. Um, you know, I, I obviously uh, kind of a new normal for for all families nowadays, especially with all our kids being home and having to focus on the homeschooling thing. And just um, uh, that's I, I think that's been a huge adjustment. Um, I, I never never realized how much work goes into that on a daily basis, especially for four kids that are on four totally different lesson plans and. You know, you're trying to figure it all out yourself as an adult. I mean, it's like we're going back to school as well at the same time to figure out how to how to teach them. But um, I think our school has done a great job of coordinating everything, and we're we're doing our best. Um, this is the new normal for everybody, at least for for the time being. So uh, we're trying we're trying to make it fun, and yet it's definitely challenging. I bet it is. There's no playbook for something like this. Please tell people what inspired you and Brittany. To step up and make such a generous donation. You know what? Because there, there are so many people in need right now. Um, I, obviously, this is this is such an unprecedented time um, uh, and and such uncharted territory. And and I know that we're all, I think, as a country, trying to figure it out as we go along. Um, you know, constantly trying to stay in, in tune with with what's being you know what's being ordered and what's being asked of you to do and. And uh, I think just the fact that you have so many um, people out there who have lost their jobs, at least for the time being, and especially when you look at the state of Louisiana, I mean, we are the, a small business state. We are a hospitality state. And so those are the industries that, that really have been hit the hardest. And so, so many people are uh, without so much right now. And I think for Brittany and I, the most important thing was about fulfilling, you know, some of their most basic needs and, 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 and mainly being able to to feed those families um, and to feed those kids of healthcare workers that are on the front lines right now and are having to drop their kids off at daycare as they go to work to, to save lives. And we want them to know that, hey, their kids are taken care of. We want the seniors to know that they are taken care of. Um, I, I think these are some of their most basic needs. And yet I think that continues to give them hope that lets them know that there's people out there that are, that are caring for them and looking out for them and that we're all gonna get through this together. And I know you put a lot of thought into this and had a lot of conversations, and this is wonderful what you're doing because exactly for the reasons that you said. We had great news from your coach, uh, Sean Payton. Uh, he was on earlier on Good Morning America with um, Michael when he was first um, diagnosed as being positive, but now he says he is cleared, he is feeling much better, and he is still getting the word out to people there in New Orleans and Louisiana to stay at home. Is that a message that still needs to get out to people? Yes, I, I, I think it does. I, I mean, obviously, this situation is much more real for some than for others, um, especially those that may have loved ones or friends who have been affected by the virus thus far. Um, I, 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 it's a bit of a surreal atmosphere right now, um, just um, just because it is so, so weird and is so different. And yet, uh, I think if we want to at least get over the hump with this, and get on the downswing. Um, certainly, it's it's something where uh, we yeah. all need to to make sure we're obeying what the medical experts say when it comes to this virus. Well said, well said. And I got to say, a prop person's going to bring this in. I'm in my screening room where I watch the Saints game. I have my Saints blanket that I'm holding up right now. Who that nation is so incredibly thankful to you, proud of you, Drew Brees and Brittany. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And wishing you and everyone all the all the best. Take care. Thanks, Drew. Robin. You too. God bless.
God bless. Yep, I, this is what I'm wrapped in right in front of my big screen watching those games on Sunday. But what he has done, and, and that was what he was doing after Hurricane Katrina as well. He stepped up. He was new to the team, and he stepped up at that point. So, like I said, everybody's just doing whatever they can. And, and by the way, my prop person is Sweet Amber. She's the prop person who brings in <laughs> the stuff here for me in the home studio. <laughs> Fantastic. Boy, what a great example he's Yeah, he right really here. is. So great. Yes, guy. he is. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.